Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of those melted crayon canvases. It's where you put, you glue the crayons to the canvas and you let them melt down the thing. It's pretty cool. I'm going to make... Alright, these are just the things you're going to need. A canvas, obviously, I got two for $5.47 um, at Walmart. You're going to need some crayons. I'm just going to use like six blue ones. I don't know where my other ones went. Um, a ruler if you want to be exact and whatnot. A hot glue gun of sorts or glue to glue your crayons to your canvas. And you're going to need a blow dryer and a pencil or a marker um, if you want. Alright, this is my plan. I'm going to draw one of those clapboards like the directors use. On the thing, I'm going to draw with pencil, then I'm going to color it with Sharpie. Then I'm going to put tape over top of it. Then I'm going to glue my crayons on top of that. And then I'm going to melt the crayons. Wait for that to dry, then I will peel off the tape and you should still be able to see the clapboard and it should look pretty fantastic. So, with further ado, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk you through the steps on what I'm going to do and then you can just go from there and it's pretty self-explanatory really. But you can just do what you want, um, add different things to it. So, yeah, let's go! So the first thing that I did was just draw the clapboard with pencil. And then after I did that, I just outlined it with a Sharpie and then colored in all the spots black that are black on a clapboard. After drawing and coloring the clapboard, then I covered it in painter's tape. Um, that way the crayons, when they dripped, it would not get on the clapboard too much. After that, I hot glued the crayons to the canvas one by one. So I just glued on six crayons, and then after that, I let it dry for a while. Then I kept the tape on it and rolled out a piece of paper so I could like hair dry it. Went upstairs, got my mom's hair dryer. Then I dripped the crayons for about 15 minutes until I got it exactly how I wanted it. After that, waited a few seconds for the crayons to dry. It honestly doesn't take that long for the wax to dry. Then I removed the painter's tape and yeah. Alright, so that is how you make a DIY crayon art canvas. Here's mine with the tape still on it. I'm going to reveal it um, right now. I kind of want to like to show you, but I want to see it because it things look pretty dope. Alright, 
Okay, I didn't think it would be hard to peel the tape off. There we go. Clapboard can canvas. Canvas. All right, not bad, not bad. It looks pretty cool. All right, so with that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys come back Saturday to watch the app of the week. I am sorry that I skipped last week, and that is because my screen recorder on my phone was not working, but my brother did help me out and find a solution, but I will be happy to use his phone until we get mine figured out. So with that being said, make sure you guys come back next Saturday. I post every Mondays and Saturdays. Um, comment down below if you guys like this video, if you guys have made this. Also comment down any ideas if you want. Um, I think I have a pretty funny back to school video that I kind of want to do, but I don't know. Um, so I might do that. So with that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. But don't worry because you guys will see me Saturday with another video. Goodbye.